artists and designers. Help us see ourselves. Help us reflect on what is good and what needs work in society. The Visionary Woman Award was established to generate funds for scholarships and also to honor women who could be role models for the students. Howardina Pindell is a treasure. Howardina's art focuses on contemporary issues that are very important, but all based on her personal experience. And the people who are looking at them should reflect on what's happening in society. I felt fulfilled as an artist. It's just something that was like my breath, like I was doing the right thing. I was very entranced by the motion and the aspect of drawing. Experiencing some of the things that I find tragic, I've often been able to, you know, have it come from me into a visual realm. And so I started thinking that it was time to start ex expressing what I felt and what my opinions were. One of the students filed a complaint, perhaps to a parent who did not know that I was black. Learning through Howardina's work, I can learn how to like meld my advocacy work into something that more effectively will be able to uplift those around me. She works a lot speaking about her experiences as a black artist growing up during segregation. I know as a white woman that my work with advocacy is mainly to raise up those around me who have personal experiences to tell. How did you come to find your style as an artist? And like, how did you know once you were like settled into it? It was a long process because I started off as figurative and then it gradually became abstract. And I became aware that I couldn't move, I couldn't evolve, not because of figuration, but just because of my working circumstances. And the thing that I would say was the turning point was my becoming obsessed with the circle. Now, what started to happen with the circle was that my father liked root beer. So we went to an outside root beer stand and we were served chilled glasses just like everybody else, but they had a giant red circle. And I asked my father, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it means this is glassware for people of color. So um, that's kind of stuck in my mind and it's like, so much a kind of iconic image for me that it shows up everywhere. Being here at Moore, I realized that for me, it's like less about finding a style and more about like my process as an artist. I think that almost meditative work really allows you to like connect with the work. It's like you venerated him as a figure and that circle is like a halo. And when I look at your piece, I'm saying, oh my God, she's punching holes, which I love to do. For future generations, I say, do not give up. I see art as healing, comforting, and informative. Everyone is different and has a different story to tell. You are identified by your signature and your fingerprint. No one else is like you. Do not give up. Joan Shep has been an icon in the fashion industry in the city of Philadelphia. She's very, very invested in developing new and emerging designers. And of course, that's exactly what our students have to offer. They learn how to create and how to bring to market. She is the market. I love what I do. You have to like what you do. I started in um, 1971. My first shop was in Lafayette Hills. We started small. What really helped us over the years was I wanted to look different. I wanted to be different so that all the stores were not carrying the same thing. I really admire her business style and I really admire her store in general and 
definitely the different um, styles that she like curates at her store I think is really interesting. She's very much a well-known Philly fashion name and I think that is so inspirational. How did you curate your aesthetic and you curate your store? As times change, we change too. Each season we did something else. We painted or we changed it or we moved things around. It was always exciting, fresh flowers, everything to soothe the people that came in. Business is a part of life and as an artist, you're like continuously selling yourself and you're continuously selling your product. So whether or not I open a business, it is important to like sell yourself. So are you doing your creations or you're doing what they're teaching you? So they'll just give us like prompts, like one word prompts, like they'll be like ready to wear and then you make a collection. So everything is really like totally yours and totally like Whoa. what you, thank you, um, what you want to do. This is great. Thank you. I would definitely want to mimic like the longevity in her career and how she's been able to create such a name for herself. I think that's really inspirational and something like I want to strive for. Yeah. You want to keep learning. 50 years in business, I'm still learning. It's the only way. The Green Carry is an institution in Philadelphia, and therefore very important that we should recognize her work as a writer, a playwright, and an arts advocate. Ms. Carry can be the source of inspiration for our students to teach them that it's not good enough to do the work in your studio if you're not carrying it out to the community. Come on, boy. Best repair, today gets a pie. King would say crazy stuff like that. Like, no, I ain't joking, custard pie. I'm making my damn self. Second peach bow down in a month, isn't it? Come on, boys. What's she need? What's this tree need? She's talking to you in tree. What's she saying? I've always loved stories. I've always loved hearing them, thinking about them, putting a little video that would start in my mind, seeing it over and over again. I realized that my job was to feel, to imagine, and to tell the stories that I couldn't stop thinking about. I think what I enjoy the most about writing and language is um, being able to express your thoughts openly to others and how you communicate that. I've always found like writing and language really impressive because I think it's hard to communicate your thoughts verbally. If I can't communicate something a certain way, how does my writing do that differently? Yeah, I do the black experience. Why not? Because the black experience is a human experience. It's beautiful. It's tragic. It's gorgeous. And by the way, it hasn't been overdone. What motivates her to write and pursue her work and share what she's experienced with people is looking at how she's processed things and experienced things in her own life. Vulnerability? Do you guys talk about that in, in more? A lot of people go into not knowing how to talk about vulnerability and like through the process of, you know, communicating to each other with their own work and what we do, we almost kind of create this like silent conversation about like how to talk about vulnerability. What I'm always trying to figure out is how to talk to young artists about allowing yourself to be honest, and that honesty will in fact come through as vulnerability because it's really pure. The stories I tell need to be told. We don't have enough of them. We as Americans need all our stories. Otherwise, we blunder again and again and again in our ignorance because we don't know who we are. And we are black, we are native, we are Hawaiian, we are women. That's who we are. The Visionary Woman Award is a thread that connects all three of these wonderful creative people and recognizes their impact on their art form, as well as on the young people who attend more.
It's really important to honor women for their achievements and it really pushes me forward and know that I can, you know, achieve something great. I am honored to be part of giving the students an opportunity to get a great education. It's our donors that allow many students like me to be able to go here to Moore, and Moore is really creating a force of creatives that will go out there and really make change in the world. Providing scholarships is a wonderful thing. COVID has put on hold many people's hopes and dreams. They know you are still out there for them which is very important that you not go away, that you be there for them. Since the program is the largest scholarship that each student can receive at Moore, it is really the difference between whether a student comes here, whether a student doesn't come here, right? One of the reasons I'm here is because there were scholarships all the way along the way. Moore's commitment to helping these artists Bravi, 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 I say, because we need everyone's creativity. We need everyone's power. My greatest hope for the Visionary Woman Honors Program is that it continues and grows in its attraction of highly talented students and provides those students who are worthy to come to college to change their life and ultimately to change society because they have the power to do it.